All right, folks, today we're talking about firmware 1.99 for the Weeble S. It was released last week, and as soon as it was out, the questions started piling up. Hey, Pete, what do you think about firmware 1.99? Should I upgrade? Will you talk about it? And so on. And yes, of course, we're going to talk about it because it is really good. So let's take a look at what Sean has given us in the new firmware. Here we go. As I said, this firmware is really good. But first, let's go over what Shuin has said that they have updated in this firmware. So firmware 1.99 for the Weeble S is mainly for the Nikon Z6 Mark II. Uh, they say that it is, let me see here, supports photo start stop recording, parameters adjustment, autofocus, electronic photos, etc. So a lot of things for the Nikon camera, which I really can't use for anything because I'm not shooting on Nikon, I'm shooting on, on Panasonic. But then there's something else. As you know, firmware 1.97 and 1.98 has not been that good because it's vibrating and you need to turn the motor strength down if you want to use it. As soon as 1.99 came out, I updated this gimbal right here and it's been working perfectly ever since. So I've done, done a lot of tutorials this week for the Gimbal Academy and I've been using firmware 1.99. And there's especially one thing that I really like and that is the, the thing that, I, that keeps me coming back to 1.96. And as you can see on this setup right here, we have a quick release plate and the lens support is not on. So I can now use the quick release uh, plate and auto tune the gimbal. I could not do that on 1.998 and 1.97. I will demonstrate this for you in just a minute. But I really think this is a great thing because if you don't want to use the lens support, you don't have to. But again, if you are using bigger lenses, it's always good to have the lens support on because it will support the camera package much better. Let's just take a look at what happens if you auto tune 1.98 which is in this gimbal uh, so you can see the difference of what I mean and we're also going to take a look at some of the motor settings. The motor settings is a bit tweaked from what I've had in the past and I have updated that in the PDF so go and grab that uh, if you want to see those. I will also dis display them right here on the screen so you can see them right now. But let's go ahead and take a look at what happens when you auto tune 1.98. All right, before we move on, I just want to say one thing about the Academy and that is we're launching it next week. And I'm only letting in 200 this year because I want to make sure that I have time to create content for the Academy and also for the channel. So it's a lot of work, but if you want the early bird price, get on the wait list, still open. The link is down in the description. Let's move on with the video. All right, let's just take this gimbal with firmware 1.98 and try to auto tune it. Let's just power it up. There we go. So as you see, we'll take the lens support off and we got the quick release plates on there. As you can see, we got firmware 1.98 in this gimbal. So motor and auto. So I can already feel that it's vibrating. This motor is vibrating and this motor is vibrating. So if we're using firmware 1.97 and 1.98, we had to add the quick, you know, the uh, lens support for the vibrations to disappear. They are not all gone. So the next thing, step we had to do is to turn down the motor strength. And on 1.98, you actually have to turn them down quite a bit. Um, actually it has to go down to about 30 or something like this on the tilt motor. The thing is here that you have to turn down the, um, the motor strength for this to work, which isn't ideal because when you're using a heavier setup like this one, you want as much power going to the motors as you can for it to be as stable as possible. But let's take a look at what happens when we do the same with firmware 1.99. Let's just switch gimbals. All right, let's take my old and trusty Weeble S right here and try to auto tune that. And as you can see, we don't have the lens support supporting the lens and we got the quick release plate on. Let's just go in here and see. Firmware 1.99. 
So auto tune, there we go. Let's see what the motors say. 56, 50, and 69. We got some vibrations on this one, the tilt motor. Let's see. So at about 50, it disappears. Even though they say they haven't done anything to the actual firmware for the stability of the algorithm, something has changed. It is a bit better. You can have higher motor settings without the lens support. But again, if you add the lens support, there's no problem at all. You won't have any vibrations of whatsoever. But I just like to have the ability to not have it on uh, at all. All right, so um, that is firmware 1.99 for the Weeble S. And yes, again, what is the verdict? Should you upgrade or should you not? I've been using this for the last week uh, without any problems. I used to run on firmware 1.96, which I think is really good. But I actually think this one works just as well. So uh, I will keep firmware 1.99 in the gimbal because I think it's really good. All right, guys, take your gimbal upgrade it and test it and if you for some reason don't like firmware 1.99 you can always grab all the firmwares from the link in the description and just downgrade to the one that you like and as i said firmware 1.96 always works so you can always go back to that once all right guys i don't have any more for you if this is the first time you're here remember to subscribe if you want to learn more about filmmaking with motion and remember guys, stay safe and stay creative. And if you can, go out and shoot some dope videos. See you next time.